In today's video, I will show you how to use the Open Weather Map API to get weather data about a specific city. This is what the final result will look like once you have everything set up. You can just run the program, type in the name of a city, I'll just do New York in this case, and you can see all the things like the current temperature, the current description of the weather, as well as the humidity level. Also, as a note, I'll make sure to upload this code so that you can just copy it easily and make the necessary adjustments. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is to generate your own API key for the Open Weather Map API. If you're not sure how to do that, I'm going to leave a link in the description that links to another video on my channel that shows you the exact step-by-step -step process of how to generate your own API key. Once you successfully generate your own key, you can just resume the video here. So starting from the top, the first thing I do is import the request library to easily make API calls. Afterwards, I just create an input so that the user could type in a city that they want to search the weather data for. Here, you can specify units as part of the API call, so you can either do Imperial, Metric, or Kelvin units. And based on which units you select, I'll just display the appropriate symbol. So for Imperial, just displaying the Fahrenheit symbol, for example. Then on line 12, this is where we actually make the API call itself. To better visualize the exact data we're getting back, I'm actually going to make this exact API call in Postman, which is a client where you can easily make API calls. Here, you can see this the API call I'm making, where the city I'm looking for in this case is going to be New York, and I'm passing in my API key, as well as the units being Imperial. Then once I hit send, you can see that this is the response we get back. And so we can see the weather data for New York, such as things like the temperature, what the temperature feels like, and like a description of the current weather. Now I'll move this to the side and just bring my code to the other side. And this way I can easily show you how I'm parsing out the data that I want. So for the current temperature, like you see here, once I get the response back, I'm just accessing main, which you can see here, and then I'm accessing the field called temp to get the current temperature. This is also, I get the rest of the values that you see here from the weather API. For example, for min temperature, we just follow the same pattern. Once we access the response, then we just access main, and then we just do temp min in order to get the minimum temperature. And just as one last example, if we look how I access the weather description here, you can see I access response and then I access weather, but because this is stored inside an array, we need to make sure we do bracket zero. And then we use the bracket notation to grab the description, which is broken clouds in this example. Before I go through the print statements, I'll just expand the screen. For the first print statement, we're just printing out the city that the user types in and making sure to capitalize the first letter. Then we're just printing out the current temperature as well as the appropriate symbol, depending on the unit that you select up here. Then I'm just printing out the weather description and then the humidity percentage. Now we can just rerun the program and just type in a city. I'll just do like New Jersey in this case and hit enter. And now we can see that in the city of New Jersey, the current temperature is 42.6 degrees Fahrenheit, but it feels like 35. The weather is currently like broken clouds and the current humidity level is like 55%. And that is the end of this tutorial. Hopefully you have a better idea of how to use a weather API using Python. If this video helped you in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.